Okay, so today I'm just, I'm gonna do an experiment. First of all, this is the outside of my daughter's room. I wanted to show you a little bit about how driving works around here. Um, so I'm gonna try to take the phone in the car and so the driving here is not for the faint of heart. I was born and raised in DC. Well, right outside of DC. So I'm used to city driving. I am used to um, parallel parking. I would say 99% of the parking here that I do is parallel parking. 100% here at our house. My husband has the garage spot. Um, but, you know, just in Germany in general, 99% um, of the parking is parallel parking. Now, I don't actually have, um, sorry, bear with me for a second. I don't actually have one of those nice mounted things that allows you to video as you're driving. So you're gonna see the... Let me try to move up my phone a little bit. But I just wanna take you down <laughs> my street um, and show you just how very interesting this drive is. Like I said, not for the faint of heart, there are tons of roads where people are, par are parallel parked on both sides. So while it's two-way traffic, there's really only um, there's really only enough room for one car to get through at a time. So in Germany, the way it works is if the if the blockage is on your side of the street. Sorry, it's kind of spitting rain here. You really need to be the one to to pull aside and wait for the other car to come through. So you can see like there's not, if another car came right now, we would have to take turns. Um, hopefully this doesn't make those of you who suffer from motion sickness get motion sick. But so right down here is the first gauntlet because like you have a completely blind 90 degree turn. So I look for headlights all the time and I go really slowly compared to the Germans. They're clearly used to driving around the Stuttgart city streets um, and they go fast, like 30 to 40 kilometers an hour fast, which is a lot in a residential neighborhood. And my husband and I joke because, um, first of all, it's a miracle I'm talking while driving because what we always say is it takes us at least 10 minutes to get down to the bottom of the hills from our flat to be able to concentrate on anything but driving because there's bicyclists and, and they zip. There are people riding scooters. There are people walking dogs. Like here's a nice gentleman who I'm going to um, nod at because that's what we do here. There are, you know, <laughs> there's all kinds of things going on. Now this is a nice wide stretch of road. This is by a school. Um, two cars could probably pass. I would drive up on the sidewalk if I needed to, to make room for another car, um, <laughs> which is also frequently done here. Um, let's see, coming around another big turn here in a second. You can kind of get a view, especially as I'm turning, um, of some of like the pretty view because we are like Stuttgart downtown Stuttgart is like a, a bowl and we are at the top of the bowl on the southern part of town now here's lights so there's a car coming so I am gonna pull over and let him through okay you might not even have been able to see that because of the way I was angled um, that was a taxi um, Anyway, we are on the top of the bowl on the south side. So we have to come all the way down to the middle of the bowl to be in the downtown. So here's a car. I don't know if you can see, but I am gonna pull over and let this car come through. This is the way it works. And usually here, the person who pulled through um, will wave to the person that yield yielded so they're super polite the other day um, <laughs> I had to back up about 25 meters to get to a place where um, I could even let the other car go through okay now here I have to stop 
at German intersections, if there is no stop sign and there's just a normal intersection, you have to yield to the person on the right. And <laughs> that takes a while to get used to, especially compared to driving in the States, because that's not generally how we do it. We kind of have like, whether you're on a main road or a side road. So coming down here, I'm just gonna inch out a little, looking to the right, making sure no one's coming. Okay, you can see this car, there's another VW down here. Um, interestingly enough, it's called a Fave here because those are the, how they say their VW letters. So I know exactly where the sides of my car are <laughs> at this point, because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to get through some of these, um, some of these tight turns. So that was another car I had to yield to that was on the right. So I am gonna turn and follow them. I'm not going to take you into like the Marienplatz area just because it's starting to get close to rush hour and um, I do want to get home in time to get that parking space back. Here's a bike trying to get killed. Okay, so here, I'm going to turn left. You can see um, on the left, hopefully, that there is a train track. There is a train stop right here. I'm letting this BMW come through. Um, so that's another thing. If we get a red light, we have to stop for the train because um, you would get T-boned by the train if you didn't stop. And this is steep. I don't know if you can tell how steep it is. Um, think like cable cars. This is actually kind of like a funicular railway where there's a track that ratchets the train up the hill. So we can take that for a Euro 50 down from the main market area up to our house. Um, Germans have election signs up right now too. I don't know if you just saw that sign I just passed. So you can kind of get an idea of what my neighborhood looks like. The other thing I would love to do right now, but I am not going to because I think it would be, oh, hold on, train's coming, so you're gonna get to see that. You can see over to the left that the lights went from yellow to red, and I'm just gonna sit here and wait at this red light um, while the train comes down from the Pfaffenweg stop down to the Marienplatz, so. Um, anyway, if I had continued to go up this hill, there is some pretty, <laughs> there is like the most serious one-way traffic that I have ever seen, but it's a two, way road and I have this is where I've had to back up before to make room for like a garbage truck that was coming straight down the hill at me um, it is not for the faint of heart the one thing I really wish is that my car was a manual it's an automatic because that's just what we get in the states but that is it doesn't really give you as much control as you need um, in this area because there are so many hills that my car actually drifts a little bit when I'm on a hill. And if I had a clutch, I could find my friction point and not drift like that. So sometimes I'm actually putting my foot on the, the brake and the gas at the same time, trying to, to keep it from drifting. So, all right, now we are turning and we are coming right back and I have like three beautiful pull-in spaces right now, so I'm not even gonna go back to the spot where I was. I'll make someone else with a slightly smaller car parallel park. Um, that seems fair, right? All right, so. Also, I'm parking on a curve, so I'm trying to get like literally smack up on the curb here, and the way we park here, um, you leave like maybe a foot between you and the car in front of you and the car behind you because we have to maximize every single ounce of parking spaces available. So anyway, one last thing, view down my street. It's funny, um, they're really, they're so much prettier from the back than the front, but I'm not saying this is ugly because it is a, a very pretty um, neighborhood and we are super thankful to live here. But anyway, thought you might enjoy that. Hope I didn't make anybody car sick. <laughs> All right, have a good one.